Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the tutorial of the basic grid system. In this tutorial we're going to draw a grid system with the use of Dynamo. We can draw a grid system by ourselves like this and like so for the example. Or we can use Dynamo to do it for us. So let me delete this grids and, and let's go to Dynamo. Dynamo. I opened an empty file. Uh, I got some packages but we don't need them for this tutorial. So the first thing what we need is a grid, obviously. So we type in the search entry grid. And we got a note here, grid by line. Let's use it. Grid by line. The output is our grid system and the input is a line. So we need to make a line. So let's search for line. And we got a note here by start and end point. So this note creates a line and the input is a start point and an end point. So we need some points. Let's search for point. Point by coordinate. Yes. And as you can see in the background, it already created one point. That's because the default value of this node is zero, zero, and another zero. So we're gonna start at zero, zero, zero. That's our start point. And our end point for the line, let me, just copy this, like so. Well, for the example, let's say four meters in the X direction. So we need a number, number. Set it over here and four meters. All right, let's connect it up to the X. And as you can see, but not yet see. Wait one sec, let me zoom out a bit. There it is. Or two points, zero, 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 four thousand, zero, zero. Let's connect it up to our line uh, node. And as you can see, it draws a line from here to there. If we connect it up to our grid node, connecting, and if we go to Revit, you will see it created a grid. Well, this is the very basic of creating a grid system. Uh, in this tutorial, we're gonna make a grid like here in the Y direction and another one in the Y direction. And we're gonna let them interact with each other. So let's go back to Dynamo and let's make the script. First of all, we need to copy the whole script. Like so. And for a Y direction, we need this point, not here, but in the Y direction. So. The only thing that we have to change here is don't put it in the X, but in the Y direction. And as you can see, it put it a point right there and the line is over so. So if we go to Revit, you can see it draws a second grid. And this is the very start of our uh, basic grid system. Let's go back to Dynamo because we want another grid right here. So Dynamo, all we have to do is Copy the whole thing again, paste it, I'm sorry guys, and we need an offset of, well, let's say 2000 or 2 meters. So we need a number again, say 2 meters, and the offset is in the X direction. So we need to connect it up to the X, oh, to the X. And as you can see, it already made a line and we need the other X as well, the endpoint, Like so, as you can see right now, this is our grid system. If you go back to Revit, it generates the other grid. And if you measure it, oh, modify, measure, you can see it's two meter, just like we said, like we wanted. Dynamo. So now we want those two lines interact with each other. So if this line moves, this line moves with it. So it's a simple formula for that. You just have an add node. You can add numbers to each other. And let's make the formula. We need another number. Number. This number is zero. We use this because we need to control this point and this point as well. So let's pop this up into the uh, X direction. Sorry guys, 
and another x direction so if we change this number to uh, like four meter you see it pops over here it's got an offset of four meters Let's change it back to zero and run yeah it's going back so, so now all we got to do is let the x points of this point and that point the x coordinates change with it so we put this in here and we need our offset our offset stays two meter so these two lines will always stay two meter of each other and we can use the output of our formula in the x coordinate and here too as you can see nothing happened yet because our starting value is zero if i put this to for five meters for example you can see the two lines shift and if we go to Revit you can see they shifted here as well so that's the basic of creating a, a grid system um, I can open another file what I made with it for a grid system and this file can make a full grid system let's go back to Dynamo oh Dynamo let me save this for you guys so I can put it in the description so you can use this file you can do whatever you want with it save yes and let's open another file an example file all right still loading can i zoom out please yes i can all right this is my file i use the exactly same method uh, i got an input only i don't make points and points show you and lines I don't do this I use a Python script to do this for me so I don't have to use like thousands of those nodes so if we open the script you can see I got some formulas for the lines and for the points points by coordinate here as well some lines and this gives me all the lines that I need for the input of a grid line of our grid system sorry guys and what it needs is an input and the input is the wide the length of a full grid system the offset of a grid for the wide the offset of a grid for the length uh, the starting point so where the first intersection is and a point of the offset for our symbol so let me run this script for you so we can see what happens yeah I'm recording as well so it isn't that big but all right there it is as you can see in the background it made my grid system and what I meant with this number 1500 it's right from here to there and the zero zero is the first coordinate this this intersection represents zero zero let's watch it in Revit go to Revit oh, I didn't delete the other ones wait one sec delete this is what it generates oh we can play with this around so I'll give you an example oh sorry let's say we wanted the offset not three meters but a half meter and the other offset two so if we run this script right now we get a lot of grids you can see it in the lines here in the background go to Revit you can see a lot of them uh, you can build it as big as you want the only thing that it can't do is create a diagonal grid and it cannot create an arc grid because it has some complexer formulas I'm still working on it but that's it actually for today uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you guys later.